So I found this three and a half inch color LCD touchscreen for a Raspberry Pi. Um, and it's assembled for a Raspberry Pi and it's commercially available. Uh, and what I really liked about this and why I thought I'd better make a video about it is um, that it just fits directly onto a Raspberry Pi uh, the connector. So I believe it will fit a Model A as well. So it's important to sort of get the pins aligned and get them on the right, get them on the right pins. And what I'm fitting it to here is I've got a Raspberry Pi in, in the case. So I've got a couple of uh, lithium ion batteries, a charger, a uh, boost converter to boost the four, around four volts up to five volts for Raspberry Pi. And I've got a power switch on the right hand side. I just could put this in, in a case. Uh, but it's as simple as that for connecting. Uh, and the drive is very simple to install as well. Uh, you download the driver from the the site which uh, makes uh, the, the manufacturer of the, the display uh, and all you do is you run the installer and it installs now I installed it on this and I'll just start it up now uh, when uh, when I put the screen on this it was a fairly old installer of Raspbian and it was only a command line install and as soon as I installed the, um, the driver the command line came up just fine so you don't need to run the graphic interface on this display the uh, command line will run on it as well. And then uh, I had to go through um, uh, all the sort of research into how do I install a, the gra graphic interface as well on, onto this once um, once I uh, had it installed. Uh, so I went through that install process and um, and it comes up okay like this. And there is a uh, piece of software which is um, which aligns, uh, configures the touch display. Uh, the touch display just works as well. Once you've installed the driver, the display works touch display works uh, and and there is a uh, a configuration for the touch display to align it but actually I found that it, it was lined perfectly for the display that I've got anyway so I didn't, didn't actually need to, to run the uh, configuration for the for the touch but as you can see it actually runs pretty well on here now you go through the configuration and I would reduce the font sizes and everything to um to actually so it displays better on on here but it runs all the all the programs and everything, uh, and so you can get file managers and you can start stuff up. There's only one one disadvantage to this is is the right click. Now on some touch dis displays, uh, when you hold down uh, on the screen, it will do a right click, uh, but this one doesn't. So um, there's probably some uh, utility out there which will do a right click for you. Uh, but apart from that, it's it's perfect for like because it sits perfectly on top of the of the Raspberry Pi. It doesn't go outside the bounds of the Raspberry Pi, so it's a really neat solution. Uh, uh, really to, easy to install. Very clear display as well. Uh, this bit, if I focus, yeah. So I, I have to because I'm filming so so close. You see, it only focuses on one part of the screen at a time. But it's very crisp, crisp display. And uh, as you can see, I've got like uh, it does like the Wi-Fi networks and everything. Uh, and and sound uh, and everything like that. So, yeah, it's a really neat display, and I, I thought it'd be good to make a video just to, to, to show it off. So this is just a quick view of the project uh, with with the lid on. I've got a illuminated push button for power, and the uh, ports are exposed for the USBs and network, and then a charging input for for the charger of the, of the lithium ion cells.